Shiva came out to say hi guys. I'm actually over here in my drawer. Well, obviously where I keep a lot of my perfumes. I just got out of the shower. I have my back first set of injections tomorrow on my back. And someone decided to come out and say hi. Right, my girl? She's so pretty. Hi. Hi. She always wants fed. That's the problem. She always thinks she's getting fed. She's such a fat girl. Sorry, beautiful. I fed you yesterday. I fed her two mice yesterday. I don't know why she always wants food. She's a little piggy. Beautiful, though. Very, very beautiful. But a little piggy. Sucks. I can't put lotion all over. They're doing the injections in my back, so I should be able to do my legs and my arms. Normally, since it's summertime, I like to put lotion all over. Especially because it's Bath and Body Works. Like, who doesn't love Bath and Body Works? Just the smell is beautiful. Hi. Can you say hi? Come here. She's like... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to tame her down. To where she's not, like, food responsive. See, this glare is pissing me off. She's probably running hard now that I did that. But, that, that glare is really irking my soul. But, I'm going to try to see... If maybe... I only held her once. That's when I first got her. No, that's a lie. I held her twice because I moved her. I put her in her first enclosure. And then I saw how fast she was growing. And then I went out and got this huge tank for her. Big 125 gallon tank. I can't even get it all on the camera, obviously. That's on my phone. But, she looks so tiny. <laughs> she looks so tiny in her tank. <laughs> Think how tiny she looks. And as big as tank. That's so cute. But, I've had her twice. She's not too bad. She's not too bad being held. But, I wonder if I can get her to be really held. Should be able to. She's so pretty though. Um, I think I'm going to put a bigger water dish in her tank. She's not tiny anymore. I think I'm going to take that one out. And I'll probably put that one in one of the tarantula enclosures. I do have a big water dish that would actually fit perfectly back in this corner for her. I saved for her specifically. It's brand new. And I think I'm going to put one in the corner for her. It's not like deep. It's kind of like something like that type of level, but it's huge. So she'll get plenty of water. And she can play in the water. As you see, she really likes being in the water. She sleeps under the water dish a lot. She's not over here. She's like over here. Without that dying finger. <laughs> She's funny. Mommy pet you? She says, like, yeah, right, your food. You see how she responds? She is hilarious. Hi, baby girl. What are you doing? Mama sees you. She's like, I don't care. Are you food? Feed me. Now, I was originally trying to show everyone what mommy just got. So we got in today from the island of Trinidad. Not specifically from the island of Trinidad, but their species is from the island of Trinidad. I know the little bugger's already out. There it is. It's right there. Alright. Before it goes dashy run run. Because these species, the Trinidad species I've noticed, the chevron, the pinks, the olives. Can't really see on camera. Because they had a gun. There's a glare. I got a Trinidad chevron. I don't know why I have it right in front of my face, clear as can be. My camera doesn't want to pick up on anything today, and I don't know why the glare is being ridiculously retarded. It's, it's like right here. I don't know what's going on with with everything. Normally the glare is not this bad. See right there it is. But that's ridiculous. That's really starting to piss me off, honestly. You have no idea how mad I'm starting to get. 
It's like right there. Like right there. I'm gonna shut the blind. Hold on. See it a little bit better. All right, so we'll just put the damn camera on. All right, there's my Trinidad Chevron. Isn't it pretty? It looks different than my other slings. My other Trinidad Chevrons don't look like that. Hopefully, this one will grow up really beautifully. As long as it grows up, I've had problems in the past growing out Trinidad Chevrons. I do have one. Never see them. Never. So, let's see with Sana. Sana's my Trinidad. Trinidad Pink. My Trinidad Olive Posy. Don't ever see. Like, it's just a pile of dirt in the cage. And I've had Posy. Oh, God. Posy I've had. Three years now. I've, the only time I've seen them is doing rehousings. And that's coming up soon. So, soon you will see Posy. So you will see how big they've gotten. They've gotten a nice size. And Sana is going to need to rehouse the Trinidad Pink. So soon you will see my Trinidad Olive and my Trinidad Pink. But Sana we do see more of. But like I said, I've had problems with the Chevron. I don't know. I've had three slings and they died. I know they're more of a human species. But the problem is... is where they come from because they're these are cat they're like they're captive bred and when you captive breed an animal you can't go by what reference is online because the problem is that a lot of breeders don't go by what's online so when you buy a species that is captive bred ask the breeder how they take care of them because if you go by research of online or if you look up a video on how they're kept or taken care of, that is that breeder's opinion. That's not from the, the buyer's opinion or how the buyer does it. Yeah, there's amazing videos on housing tree care and the way you take care of them. There's a lot of excellent videos like Dave's Little Beasties, Tarantula Cat, the Tarantula Collector, exotic layers to dark den you got all those beautiful amazing channels totally amazing channels but the problem is they take care of their spiders their own way if you get a brand new species like this one i had to because they don't just send you care sheets they won't do it they'll just ship them in a box and be like hey here you go there's your there's your animal they don't care i had to call them and ask them specifically how do they take care of their slings? Because if I take care of my slings one way and they take care of their slings another way, guess what? Your slings are not going to live. So my recommendation is if you go online and you purchase an animal, any animal from that site, just call them and ask them. Or, or if I... Or, somebody um, that's taking care of them just call them and ask them because you know that's a smart thing to do it's better for the animal because you know how to take care of the animal and they'll live longer like i learned that very quickly with mine because i get my spiders and my reptiles some are rescues so i don't know how originally some of them didn't come in good either so my house and tree and care was a lot better than how i originally got them and they thrived, but my spiders I get from different companies. Some come from Fear Not, Tarantulas, um, come from Ella Reptile, some come from Toxic Tease, which is my best friend. I know how she takes care of her spiders because I've been to her house and I've taken care of her spiders. We kind of do the same thing. So I get the majority of them from her. But so I get them from different places and obviously different places take care of their animals differently. Just like oh, I get a lot of them from expos too. Yeah, pretty that thing is. Now Trinidads are more of a humid species. They are tree dwellers, but the babies, they kind of like to be at the bottom more. And the chevrons are more tree dwellers. Now my olive and my pink... 
they, I don't know, they're not tree dwellers. Because Posey has been buried underneath in her tank forever, and she won't, the only reason I know it's a female is because she kicks her, like any other tarantula, they like to kick their molt out of their, their dens. I was able to finally sex her a couple, like a few months ago, I was finally able to sex her. I kind of took a guess on her being a female, just because I compared her to um, a, my one male that I have. But, yeah, if you guys get your spiders all over the place, like I, like I said, like I do, as you see, these guys are all from different places. They all get taken care of differently, different housing tree. And when it comes to slings, slings are very delicate. They're very delicate. And the thing is, you, you want to make sure you get your sling. You're happy you have your sling. And did you just molt? Sorry, I got distracted. Look. Did it get just molted? Hey, Vicky Lara, Vicky Lara just molted must happen while I was in the shower because that wasn't like that earlier anyways when you um have ADHD sorry guys but <laughs> when you have your animals like I said when you get them from different places because you know like you see different sites have different cool species and you want something different and something neat and you want them to grow up and not kill your sling right away or some sometimes it happens during shipment because sometimes you get your animals sent to you like mine the LL reptile I get them from is the one in California not Arizona so and I'm in Pennsylvania so that's a long long little uh, shipping haul for the animals which on some slings it can be pretty hard one so when it comes to them I try to make sure they're a certain size can't always see what they are the size they are to know so unfortunately I don't ever know what size I'm getting because it might say one thing online and then you end up getting something else and it's like what the heck is this yeah that cutie and it's like well that's great <laughs> and you're lucky they survived the travel so always ask always always ask even if you have to call them call them and ask about the house and tree care because everybody's house and tree care is differently when it comes to these animals yeah cypher's weird don't ask my my tarantulas are oh no my animals are normal i swear to god this one molted my polka piece my grandma stole a polka piece it actually molted earlier. I pulled the mold out. It's down in that little hidey hole. Go down there, you stupid cricket. Crickets are so stupid sometimes. Add in more dirt. Because little Dave is getting bigger. Needing more dirt to dig down into. I don't think I can see him from underneath. Nope, can't see him from underneath. But the grandma stola is doing beautifully. Cypher, my Mexican red needs a freaking weirdo. Yeah, one's downstairs making sperm webs. It's winter. Winter's coming. They should have put you in Game of Thrones, right, baby cakes? Oh, she's gonna run. Okay. I'm sorry. Let's see if your boyfriend's out. I got a pair. I ended up finding out that they are not Texas tans, and I knew it. They're not giant Texas tans, so I gotta race that off of there. They're actually golden red rumps. And I knew it. I knew it when the, the carapace started changing that freaking golden color and their rumps were getting more red. And I've seen Texas tans before. I've seen giant Texas tans before. And that's not a giant Texas tan. And I, I knew it. So I actually have a pair of golden red rumps, which is actually more cool. Because so I've actually been wanting to have a pair of them. So that's the other problem. When you get them from expos, or if you get them from certain places, not everybody marks the tarantulas correctly. Some people will sit there and be in a rush, and just mark the containers ahead of time. Or, they're just in the rush, trying to get ready for expos, or whatever, and they have cups written out, or just not paying attention, and they write it all wrong, and 
You think you're buying one species, and it turns out to be another species. That's happened to me a couple of times. Always gotta watch out for that too. So you gotta make sure you know, or at least try to like learn. Or if you really want to get into this hobby, like really learn just a basic or acknowledgement of certain species. I was learning more about certain species then, so I wasn't. And it's hard when it comes to slings, because a lot of slings do look alike. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of my slings, when they were little, I couldn't tell which one was which sometimes. I'd have them all lined up on the shelf up there. Like all my Mexican species and the Veracruz red rumps, the Mexican red rumps, they were all lined up. And it's like, do, do I have them in the right spot? Like, they all looked alike. That one molted. Where are you at? We're not out yet. Oh, there we are. Orange tree spider anubis. It's molted, and of course it's in a tiny ball, so I can't tell what it is yet. It's getting to the point, though. It should be able to tell the sex soon. But they keep doing that with their mold. So I have to pick the pieces up everywhere. Very beautiful. Very beautiful species. I gotta clean its enclosure, but... Look how beautiful orange the tree spiders are. My purple tree spider. Uh, last time I saw Sasha was down there. Because the tree spider species are a little bit more of a human species. Oh, it's, it's Cypher's getting a drink. Cypher likes to freaking bury its water bowl. So I have certain sphagnum mosses and plants that... I put in there to for them to stay really like, hydrated, especially in the summertime. If your tarantulas are problematic like mine, and they knock everything over, like their water dishes, because a lot of them, or bury them, plant sphagnum moss, peat moss, stuff like that, it'll keep it moist, and they'll suck up the water moisture from that. Anyway, change the subject, I know. I'm so annoying with that. People hate when I do that. You'll get used to it, trust me. But anyways, the tree spider species and the trin certain trinidads and the trinidads, certain species are more of a humid species, so they like to have more water, more humidity. I wish Sana would come out, but Sana's not out today. Sana has a water dish, but I do spray down Sana's enclosure too. Everyone gets sprayed down. Mm, I don't see the purple tree spider out yet. It's still early. I don't know where Cat is. Cat is one of my is my rose gray. But we'll see who comes out later. As you see, my girl slithered off. She's like, I'm out of here. I don't care. But yeah, we'll see everybody at later. Cause I'm gonna. I feel bad. I'm the only thing I hate about Vicularis and. Boreals is when you have to go in and get their molt. A lot of times I wait for them to just kick it out or push it out themselves. Cause look at that. I don't want to ruin that beautiful webbing just to get that piece of mold out. Eventually she'll drop it down. She'll, she'll push it out of her area. I'm waiting for, I think I'm gonna, I have a, a feeding I have to do. <laughs> look, my beautiful Versi color down there. I think that plant's still doing pretty good. I have to water that plant then. That's gonna be such a pain in the butt. How are you doing, little one? Look at that. Such a cute little fire leg, baby. Yeah, I know. I decided to put it in the here. I'm getting a special enclosure for this one. I know you're a bolty little thing. I gotta feed some of the babies. Which I will be doing then. I'll probably be listening to Game of Thrones and feeding some of the little ones because like I said I have my first injections I gotta do because I gotta do a couple injections before they cauterize my back so obviously little one's hungry I wish the Hattie Hattie would come out I think later on we might try to see how the Hattie Hattie is doing so I am actually might um, dig up the Hattie Hattie I'd I digged up the polka peas to make sure they were still alive and doing okay because I haven't seen them in a while and they're doing beautifully they're doing perfectly fine so we'll just 
wait until a little bit later. I don't want to make this video too long. We're already at like 20 minutes. So, I will see you guys. Oh, look at that tiny little one. We'll end it with the little little Ed. The Mexican white knee. I know, don't worry. I get worried if it's going <laughs> to climb out through the holes there. But so far, it's been a good little Ed. So, he hasn't squeezed his booty out. Thank God some of these slits are actually kind of covered. But I do have to worry about, like, appearing stuff. I don't think it should be able to. Hopefully not. I don't know. So far, it's been a good little edge. So, I will see you guys in a little bit.